good morning there, YouTube, or afternoon, or whichever way you want to look at it. It could be midnight, far as I know. But anyways, hey, this is Peter Ryder, the PA, out here on my lovely Road Glide Limited 2021. But, hey, it's race day. <clears throat> I've never been to the road races. I went to flat tracks for the last couple of years, and can't get, never been to the road races. So, actually, Pittsburgh International Speedway is an hour or so from my play, from my house. So, that was what I'd be doing today. Actually, I'm going up for overnight. So, uh, of course, I can't get anybody to go with me today because some of the friends that actually go to races with me actually have to work today. I don't. And uh, I had something else to do this morning. So, I did that. And it's 11 o'clock. I think it's, it's about an hour for me to get there. So, we're going to cruise up. Check out the races for the afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna stay up there. I'm gonna find some nice place to go eat. Get my room. Get up in the morning. Go to breakfast. Go to races for the rest of the day. Nothing in a hurry. Just an easy weekend. Uh, not really a whole lot going on. It's supposed to be nice weather. It's cloudy now. It's supposed to get nicer. It's gonna be nice, cool weather, like 70, 75. It's cool in the evening, morning. So it's no rush. It's just an overnight bike ride basically for me. Nobody else come with me except the guys who are showing up tomorrow. That'd be about it. It's like that. People don't uh, go out and do stuff too much unless they really want to. And everybody's asking me uh, this morning at the uh, breakfast I was at, and I'm like, yeah, come on up. But they're like, oh, no, I can't do that. So there you go. It is what it is. You know, when you tell me cost to get in, then that's a whole different story. Everybody wants to walk in for free. Well, I want to go see it for free. But hey, so we're on this nice little back road right up here to get there. Uh, I think I jump on a highway at some point. Then I drop in, start this off for the weekend. Oh my, wake up. So, hey, but it is what it is. There's a Harley for sale. You'll see that a lot. You'll see a lot of bikes on the side of the road for sale. And you always wonder, do you really want to stop and buy it? The difference between buying in a dealership and buying at home. Is you gotta do all the leg work. Everybody don't understand all the leg work. It's not really that hard. It's time consuming. And if you don't have time, it's that much of a pain to buy. So say you uh, say you buy a bike on the side of the road. Well, now you gotta go to the bank and get it financed. Well, what they say it's worth and what the value of the bike is, they might want pictures of it. So forth. Uh, you have to transfer your insurance, get the VIN, do all that. Then you have to go to a notary, make a point with the person that owns the bike to transfer the title. Or, you know, you get into banks, you got to deal with the banks. They get the transfer over to you. Then, hopefully, the bike doesn't break down or anything in the first 30 days or whatever. Maybe you don't get a warranty. And then you're stuck with it. You spend seven, $8,000 for a motorcycle and then the engine blows up. Duh. Guess what? It's yours. You're not getting to take it back to the shop and go, hey, this thing's broke. Uh, duh, what do I do with it? Nope. It's yours. You just paid eight grand of your money for your bike. And now you have to fix it. At least when you go with the shop, you know, they, they go and cost so much more. But they're guaranteeing that part of it. If you break it, if it breaks or something, at least they'll take care of it to a point. Not everybody does the same thing. You gotta make sure you ask for that stuff. Nobody will give you something unless you ask. You must ask. Always ask. Never hurts to ask, as they always say. So, there's a difference. So, when you see that bike sitting on the side of the road, do you take the chance? Now, some people don't bat an eye at doing that. They think it's a great deal. Well, yeah, you'll save 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, maybe 1000 $2,000. That's great. But, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So, basically, you're gambling with the outcome. That's what you're doing. You're just gambling the outcome. So pick your pain kind of thing. I always say, they always, it's always pick your pain. Is it really worth the pain that I'm going to suffer for the things that I do? Always remember that before you do anything. Is it worth the pain that you might suffer for what you do? But anyways, hey, I'm one of these races. Like I said, I'm going to set my pain that I'm going up here by myself. And there's trees falling down everywhere right here because the storm came through uh, last night. And... Uh, I'm going to go up here and do my thing and nobody wanted to go with me and I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I'll, I'll do things on my own. I'm good. You know, I'll send pictures. I'll make a nice video of it. And you're getting to see the outcome. 
anyways I'll be back when I get some more video when I get there and I've never been to the track I've never seen this uh, I guess we I got a seat I brought a chair I do have a chair I have one of those mini fiddle chairs I keep it a bike now uh, and uh, stuff like that also if you haven't noticed lately uh, in my descriptions I have Amazon links now for all the products that I put in my videos uh, if you're looking for something that I put in the video check the description it's in there you can link to it I put what it is and the link to it hit on it it'll take you right to Amazon yeah and, hey I, I might make a little bit because I don't have enough subscribers to make anything off this anyways and I pretty much do it for fun anyhow uh, well, I can ride by myself my wife don't want to talk to me so I just talk to you Mrs. Uh, Beat Rider PA you could say she likes her silence and her solidarity you could say sometimes I talk too much but anyways I'll be back when I got some more check out the link in the description all the links down there for all the products hey if you like something that we had on a video at some point for the timeout camper motorcycling stuff like that there's a link there I got it from Amazon there's a link there so all right I'll catch you in a bit all righty we're getting pretty close and we're getting uh, the sun's coming out now I'm gonna stop at my buddy Bodine's favorite location In a quarter mile turn left onto Pennsylvania 18 North Fort Avenue there's a sheets up here imagine that it says right up here on the corner I'm 2.2.1 miles from the sheets just for my buddy Bodine Oh, there it is on the corner. Imagine that. I need to get gas. So, I guess we're going to stop here. Turn Look at that red sign with an MTO. We guys should get MTOs too. It ain't a, what, one pump empty. Holy crap. I might even going to get there before that truck gets there. Man. I hate when people pull in a gas station, park in front of a pump, and leave their car. Seriously. Get your gas, move your car. Not get your gas, sit on your phone. Not get your gas, talk to your kids. Not get your gas, let's go in and talk shit and hang out and all that good shit. No, there's a BMW sitting there with nobody in it. There's another piece of shit car sitting there with nobody in it. There's a lady sitting there on her cell phone figuring out whatever. There's a guy over here, maybe he might be getting off his. I mean, seriously, people. You go get gas, get your gas, and move move on smartly for the next guy. Leaving your car, sit there, is rude. It really is. Other people want to get gas and get moving. And when there's not that many pumps, look, there's only four freaking pumps, and they're all taken. Holy crap. Oh, this guy moved. Hey, I can get into that one, man. Alrighty, well, we're almost at a track. It says fan entrance up here to the right. So, it's right off of uh, 18 there, a nice little ride up here. I said I've never ever been here before, so this is all brand new for me. I'm sure there'll be some more signs. Oh, it's a nice little ride. Stopped and got some fuel there. I like them people with parking them gas stations. I just picks me off to no end. I don't do that. I, I, I try to be considerate of other human beings. If I get gas, I pull over and get out of the way so the next person can use the pump. Or, you know, but I pay with a debit card. Some people pay cash. There was a little old lady in here. She paid her $10 or whatever. But, just saying. Alright. What's my sign say here? Main entrance to the left. Ah, that's where I want to go. Competitor registration. No, not me. I'm not racing my Harley. Ain't happening. Pittsburgh International Race Complex. Welcome. Oh, we got some RVs. Guess there's parking out in the middle of nowhere. Now, see, I can bring my time out and set it up out here. I wouldn't like leaving it out there, but still. They said there was no camping. Parking for the day is ten dollars. Can you believe that? You're gonna make me pay ten dollars to park on top of the money you pay to go here. So, 
can't remember if I put that tin in my wallet or did I put it in my bike. Or, yeah. Well, there's a lot of people up here for this. A lot of RVs, trucks, trailers, motorcycles. I got my ticket for two days. I didn't put that tin in my pocket. Yes, I did. Let's put it up here when we get to it. Let's go up behind the motorcycle people. See, be two lines. It's in the back. Parking? Hey. Unless you want to tip me. Well, I might do that. Never been here before, so. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Let me get your stuff. Don't put this on too tight. Alrighty. Alrighty, 
Paul, the guy with the flag. Alrighty, we're here. Southern four miles away, lots of things to look at here. We'll be up and checking it out. 